Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing some more Time Wasters. This is Ripper of Ripper Gaming. Uh, appreciate it if you give me a like and subscribe, uh, and uh, we're going to jump right into this. So, um, there's a new character, and this is Early Access Build 646, uh, and it's Tesla AI. So this seems interesting to me. So we're going to unlock them today, and uh, if you're wondering, the first thing you have to do is upgrade Static Field to level 10. Evidently, I have not done that before, so I don't have them unlocked. But you can really pick anybody, and if, and if you want tips about how to beat the game uh, using any character, I've got another video on that that I'll put in the description. Uh, but uh, the best DPS I've seen out of any character really is Raven. So I'm going to go ahead and pick her for the main captain, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I always follow the same path where I really just run up here and pick up all the time cubes to get our free unlocks. So, kind of run around the whole place real quick and pick those up. Have one down here on the left. And then uh, we've got the, uh, I can't remember what the cubes are called, but they're for upgrades. So we're gonna go pick that up after we grab this one. Base cube, that's what it is. So always grab that. Oh look, we got 100% chance. Uh, Try and get over to the gold planet as fast as possible. Gotta make sure, especially early game, you don't get yourself too surrounded like I just did there. That can wipe you out pretty easily. But you want to stick in this area because that's going to get you a lot of uh, XP. We'll go ahead and push this here. So let's see. Second, uh, Corrosia is really good to have. So she's one of my go-tos. Uh, won't think that initially, but uh, we're going to go ahead and pick her. Old Magnet range is nice, um, so we're going to go for that one. Kind of stick with her until I get some, uh, some others. Plasma Cannon is a good one I like to use as well, so uh, uh, that's not the top one, but I still like it just because it allows to fire. So we're going to go for that one. We're going to first try and focus on rockets. Um, option we have there. Okay, so both these are good. I want Azurine as a captain since I have the plasma. Uh, I also want to get the slime trail. So, um, you don't see the captains that often. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick her even though I'd rather start with slime trail. So, let's see there. See, so you get all this extra XP. I mean, I just leveled up everything and I'm already up to level 4 there. Just make sure you stick around this gold planet to start. That's the best bet. Um, we do have to save uh, one spot for static field. <clears throat> so we have to remember that uh, and not use something else. There's our slime trail, rocket damage, rocket. No, we can't do anything. We have to get static field. Uh, so come up here, you'll see we've got three weapons, rockets, plasma, and slime trail. So I have to save that last slot for a static field so I can level it up. And you see I've got these three here. So I've already got these captains correspond with the three weapons I already have. Uh, so we're good to go there. So we don't touch any weapon other than these three or static field from here on out. All right. This slime trail, if you haven't seen my other videos, just kind of circle around the gold planet here and it slows everything down for you and it just gives you uh, uh, kind of a buffer uh, and uh, it actually does some decent damage um, once you get leveled up there. So I've got five cubes. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that one on the left here in a minute and then uh, and we're going to go ahead and go over and see if there's a decent upgrade for us. I'll let these guys come in and slow down with our slime. That's just, I mean, I'm filled when I first played this game, it just did not seem that good, but uh, it's pretty awesome once you understand how to use it. Maybe that's just me, but I did, I did not see the value in it at first. Okay, none of these are really good. I mean, the, this is great and all, but um, I think I'm going to re-roll since I've got eight. Something better. Okay, good. So, I would love to have gotten Static Field, but I don't see that in here. So, Seeking Rockets, uh, that's one we already have. Remember, we can't use anything else. We only have one spot left for our weapon. I'm gonna go with rockets, and looks like we'll get rockets on the next one. Too. So, I guess that's not bad. That just uh, guarantees we get some easy kills here. 
So yeah, you can see the rockets are really taking care of most everything. You see the nice explosions everywhere. Once you start seeing it look like fireworks, you know your rockets are upgraded pretty well to where they're going to handle most things for you. I'd actually get another time cube to get those rockets up there to uh, close to super level here soon. And don't be like me. Make sure that you're checking. I had 13 uh, points there, so uh, boxing gloves. I like them. We're not going that route. Remember, I have one spot left. The plasma cannon. Plasma pot. That's nice there. Gold magnet range. I do, do really want this, but uh, getting this uh, extra range is nice because you'll see the uh, XP or gold in this game. It pulls right into you. It's pretty nice. So, let's see. Explosion. Um, try and get this up. Trail. Not wanting to give us a static build. We'll keep waiting here. The max boost and block damage. We've only got one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Rocket damage. Both of these are about the same. They're just defensive, so charge uh, per second is what I go with. Yeah, I like having lots of boots. Oh, okay, but gold for pickup is nice because we're on the gold planet. So we're going to go ahead and grab that one because that's just going to get us more XP quickly. Here we go. Static field. Okay. So good. We've got our final one there. So we remember, we've got to get static field to level 10. Uh, so anytime we see static field, because we're trying to unlock test AI, uh, we're going to be picking that one. So the on my plasma cannon focus, I like to get it to level 3. You can do 4, but I prefer 3. Uh, I just like the range of the shot better. And uh, I don't know if you notice it. Um, you almost might perceive it as lag whenever I come out of like the menu there. Uh, but they did add some functionality uh, to make it to where you can actually get a little slowdown. Like it slows time when you come out of a menu. And that's just meant to help you because uh, I don't know. It, depending on how much you play this, you might have run into it where uh, you come out and accidentally run into someone immediately. That can kind of end your game if you're not prepared for it. So, uh, it, I think it's a nice touch that they added. So, let's see. Time cube. Low chance. Yeah. Going back to our gold planet. We need to go ahead and pick up over here. Our mine. Okay, we got a boss fight. I probably should have been looking at the timing. That usually comes around 3 to 3.30 on timing. But uh, we should be able to pick this boss up pretty easy. I'll just stay right here. Go ahead and hit this too, why not? There we go. Easy XP. Um, a lot of people I've seen try to use this planet here, which is nice and all, but it really just isn't that great in my opinion. But like right now, it doesn't hurt to use it because it's uh, attacking these chips here. So it's pretty good for this case. Uh, but if you're looking where to spend your points, uh, well, early game it might be good. Uh, right now you get powerful enough don't necessarily need that. Now, time cube up here. Okay, we're at seven. I need to go on those in. And let's run through this first because uh, we know we got the rockets are almost there. So if we level up the rockets some, then uh, we might be able to. Uh, there we go. There's that last plasma spread. That gets me where I need to be. I'm going to go ahead and take slime to just level it up. Okay, this is nice, but see up here where it says optional don't want to use that you want to try and go for maxing out your number here for main uh, weapons because that's how you get to create them to super right, we've already got a slow it's not worth really taking that but the damage to that one uh, we will take the static field slow because it counts towards uh, the level 10 we need to hit. So remember any static build we definitely want to prioritize that for the purpose of unlocking our new character Static build slow. There we go. We're gonna get a lot of slow between uh, slime and the static build. This gets my spread at exactly where I want it with three out of four. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one. Plank slime spread. Static build range. There we go. Static build does not do a lot of damage. Uh, early game, if you get it right off the bat, it's actually pretty good because you can go through huge uh, swaths of it. Uh, but damage isn't the focus on that one. That's why you've got your other build. Anytime you see one where you get two for one or three for one, uh, that's obviously the one you go for because 
uh, extra for the point you spend. X shield. That. See that little slowdown right when we came out of it? That is actually intended. Just, uh, I need to go turn in my cubes, but uh, I did this just because that's a big group of enemies. And you see how uh, with my magnet range, it picks everything up from pretty far away at this point. I just want to make sure I can pick up all the XP from this planet here and get the extra out of it. All right, I think that's another time cube for our upgrade right here. Then let's go on down here. Then static field is our priority of damage. Plasma per shot. Rockets per shot, because we're actually about to get rockets. We know that's what's for now, because we checked it earlier. Um, Max shields four and a recharge delay. That's pretty nice. These are great. The gold vault doesn't give you a lot of gold. I mean, if you got nowhere else to put them, make sure. But uh, I'd rather take a little bit more hole to keep me safe than that. Let's see, max shields again. We'll do this one just because it keeps popping up, and that'll get it off our list because there's three levels. All right. So here we go. So see, now we're up into the super range. Additional rockets, uh, shots to charge super rocket, and then the multiplier. So that's an awesome one. Let's see, after that we have plasma cannon, so uh, there's no point in re-rolling. That's a definitely good one to get, so we'll go for that when we get five cubes. Uh, but remember, you just have to keep watching for the um, uh, for the static field. It shouldn't be a problem, we're at level 45. Typically in a good run you're going to hit somewhere around a level 120 or so. It shouldn't be a problem to get enough points for it. I think it said level 10. You don't even have to max it out on the level. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Alright, yeah, you see how great this slime is. Between the static field and the slime, nothing should even be able to come close to me. Um, because the, uh, the slime has the slow, static field has the slow. It's a pretty, uh, pretty nice combo here. There we go. Go ahead and get our next upgrade here in just a second. Uh, I think we're getting close to a, uh, to a boss. I think it's around six minutes. I think it's around every three minutes. I haven't really timed it, but that's what it seems to be when I've been playing before. All right. Go ahead and do these upgrades. Take the damage. We've already got quite a bit slow. Um want any more slow. I'd, I'd like to get some damage, but I guess it's not going to hurt anything, and I need to make sure I get to 10 there. Length. Length doesn't seem like it's that good, but when you make yourself into a big circle of it, it is pretty nice to have. Um, builds were okay. We're going to go for this uh, uh, gold for pickup. Plus, rocket damage is already past super territory, so that's nice. Super damage there. More gold for pickup, even better. There we go, static field damage. Alright. If we get this big area cleared, get all this XP, we'll come down there and get the time cube <laughs> from the shop. Or spend our time cubes in the shop, I should say. All that nice XP. There we go. Killing so many. Let me get down to the shop. Um, I really need to spin this first. I don't like the fourth level, so I'm gonna avoid that one. So I'm gonna try and do plasma if we can. Uh, yeah, this is nice. Put our points in the plasma because uh, we get five points effectively uh, when we upgrade there. So we're getting our static build up. And so that's nice too. Okay, so this is close to super level. Oh, and see that one is super. So we can, if we're already way past super by the time we come back, then it's slime trail. But um, that's a nice one. So this is damage, more length, than low. Uh, but this one obviously is the way to go. All right. up. 
Always make sure you're checking your timers around the screen to see what needs to be uh, hit. Got a lot of XP I might not be grabbing, so I might take a trip down to the uh, red and blue planet down there. It just picks up all of our XP for us. Oh, I knew there was a boss coming. I should have paid attention, but you know what? Get into this area so when you pick up your XP, it'll give us some trade. Nice. There we go. And uh, we're going to hit this real quick because if the uh, planet gets attacked and you kill everything, it resets the time coupon. There you go. That's perfect. See, we just picked it up, so technically it has 60 seconds till the next pickup. So, with our rockets where they're at now, just another reset, so another free time cube. Perfect. Got some everywhere. Yeah. Worked out really well. So, we're going to jump right in here. Just to the super level. And static build is our next option, so that's even better. So, alright. Let's go in here. And, uh, field recharge on boost. Why not? Magnet range. I don't need to slow, and I'll probably pick it up uh, next. So, or no, I'm going to do static field. Uh, yeah. More gold, magnet range, sure. See, so plasma cannon is just on infinity now, so that's just extra damage anytime you get it. Uh, so, not bad. I mean, take extra damage. But, uh, we've got, yeah, yeah that's a lot of DPS, just damage there. Another boost, and more block damage. Oh, nice. Alright, yeah. You see, now that we've got it up there, you see those orange shots coming out? That's our super right there. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we got two of these, so kind of checking around the board, see if there's any uh, additional. They're not even getting close to me, but <clears throat> with the static field and the slime here, that'll kind of keep us safe. Okay, we were going to make a quick trip down to the uh, magnet planet, so we'll do that quick. and grab this, I think 100% now. Alright, great. It really needs full repair, but why not just run through it. Okay, we got our magnet. If you can get the magnet and manage to get on the planet, I think that's going to net you some extra XP. Uh, you can't really do it from that far, but uh, just something to note. Oh, look at that. We can just destroy them and go right through it. That's pretty awesome. We're already up to 10 more upgrades here. So I think we're gonna get the uh, range damage next out. Really need to see some points in uh, static field. Just wanting to make, max that out. Okay, that gives us three slow, so that's not bad. We're maxing that out. Here we go. So that gets us to level nine. So we're almost there to unlock the new character. Nice, more boost, block damage while being pick up on the planet. That's a plus. Those type of things don't seem like they're that important, but that gives you a lot of extra levels. Especially if you stick around the gold planet. See, I'm at 74, but I'll probably finish this run somewhere at least 100. I, I would say probably at least around 115 or higher. Alright, there's time to keep up there. We're at 5. Perfect. So that's going to get us up to the level we need for static field. So we don't. This is mostly for just protection. The damage is huge. Uh, but down there it says Equip Chain Lightning. That's the reward. So that is our new character. Reward Captain Tesla AI. So, so that's great. So we've got him unlocked. We're going to go ahead and finish the game off. And uh, just see how we do. If you look at my other guide I did. That kind of says how to max out achievements. Uh, which the funny thing is they came out with a new version after I published that guide, so now I have to max out my achievements again. Um, but I don't think it'll be a problem. I am interested to see how well um, the new captain plays. So I'm probably going to do the video on this. Then uh, I'll probably do another video just show off, uh, showing off the new captain. And uh, 
I'll kind of stick to my same strategy as I mentioned in my um, uh, how to 100% video. And I'll just use him with uh, uh, some of the strongest uh, captains in order to unlock everything. So, yeah, that'll be another video. I mean, these videos, if you do the whole thing, are kind of long just because, you know, it takes probably around 20 to 30 minutes to finish a match. Yeah. You'll see another video shortly after with that on there. Then put our points in here. I'm damaged. Shield. Old magnet reigns. Almost got our slime maxed out. Uh, slime is pretty cool when you max it out. It can, just gets, uh, uh, it gets crazy. It takes up the whole screen. It's, it's really, uh, uh, nothing can get to you once you get to that level. <laughs> already hard for them to get to you now. Oh, that one. Magnet, more static field. I don't know if static field to level 18 really is anything, but go ahead and take it there anyway. Look how big that static field is. I didn't realize how big it got there. Look, look at this boss. We're just kind of melting them at this point. Come back over this way. Uh, I wanted to get your XP in here. Maybe we got some of it. All right, we're at four. Get to the shop here in a minute. Just get this to the extra damage. XP up here. Time cube up here. I'm gonna run down here and spin that real quick. Okay, at this point, we're really just talking damage. So, Rocket versus Plasma, they're both good. I really think Rockets does a lot more damage. Hey, what? We're gonna put it on Plasma just to see, but Rockets just kind of are like heat seeking. So, I mean, I still think they're gonna do more damage. They're, they're pretty good. And at this point, it's pretty much easy street. Um, now the slime will get bigger as we level it up here in a minute. So after we pick up all this XP around here, we'll go ahead and do our levels again. Uh, but yeah, the, the slime will be so big on the screen that nothing's going to come close to you. I already got everything else in the super status, so we're fine there. Dukes and chance. Lose there. All right, wave ends here. We have probably nine to ten levels. Oh, I don't need to be rushing. There's no point. It's really will keep me protected. You can just kind of sit here in the middle if you want. Not really. Yeah. I've seen some people on the forums for this game talk about how hard it is, and to be honest with you. Initially, when you start, it is pretty hard, uh, but it took a little persistence to unlock and everything, and then it really gets a lot easier, and it's pretty fun. I really do enjoy this game a lot. All right, so we're at 11 levels. Not another, 12 levels. Okay, good. So, I'm here, grab this. We have a cube up here to grab. Which is four. All right, let's do and these are great, but shields are always good. Uh, slime trail length, we've almost got that one maxed out now. Good. Slime damage, good. There we go, we've got our super now. Um, you'll see in a second that makes this pretty wide. Uh, extra gold per pickup. Sure. Damage, damage, full. For our super, we're definitely going to keep maxing everything out to get the super. Uh, fully leveled up as well. Up. Up. Sure. So, you can see the slime trail is a bit thicker there. So, I'm making kind of a big area there, but you can really just kind of circle in the middle here and keep yourself safe right here. I can just kind of sit here and hardly anything is going to be able to make its way to me at this point. 
between that static build slow and between the slime flowing. And you can see I just I'm just pulling in XP as everything dies around me. That was easy. Alright, so do they have any planets we need to go hit? Oh, you do need to watch out for these because they do have projectiles, but even those get slowed. The only reason you're going to die of that is probably if you're rushing around or just not paying attention. They don't last too long, so they'll usually be okay. That's why I also put a lot of points into my hull, my shields, because it's kind of that extra layer of protection if I do uh, make a mistake. But let's go ahead and bump up this damage. Um, before we take on this boss, why not? I don't love this, but I'll go ahead and choose it just to show you, uh, you know, kind of how it looks. It probably does provide more damage that way. Uh, it's just, uh, I have a lot more area to be able to hit um, the different uh, characters. But for bosses, it's probably better to max it out all the way. Here we go, gold planet, a gold pickup, more damage. There we go, our slow. Yeah, so if you can see it, it kind of like converges and then spreads out there. cubes okay this planet down here I mean we're killing stuff so quick it doesn't matter too much but go ahead and knock it all out get back up here for our XP remember try and stick around the gold planet see I'm already at level 106 and to be honest with you I don't even need any more levels to beat this but uh you know might as well pick up all the extra damage you can More damage isn't going to hurt, I'd say. Alright. And uh, you'll notice I kind of slow down around here. Like, I, I like to shift to just keep going fast. But um, until I get my slow built up uh, with my slime, then I don't want to go too fast and ram into people and risk killing myself. Alright, so there we go. Now that we've got that little layer of protection built up, you see even those uh, balls that shoot in from the uh, uh, guys on the outside, uh, not really going to do us, didn't even make it to us actually. And uh, I, I don't know if I've said this before, but make sure people know, I don't typically use the mouse to control where they're shooting. Let it just shoot automatically, it does a better job. So. Um, something to keep in mind. If you're struggling, uh, I'll tell you that's one thing that helps. The auto aim on this is pretty good. Especially when you got people coming in from every angle. You see it, you see it just kind of shoots in different directions. If I just let go and don't move. So, like I said, it's, it's going to be able to keep up much better than if you're trying to do it manually. Alright, yeah, we're getting bombarded here. This is a spot where... I used to die quite a bit, but you kind of get the right build because, uh, like, the slime just helps tremendously. You got so many of them converging on you uh, that it just makes a big difference. Right, get these. Alright, these are the ones for projectiles, so just make sure you watch out for that. Got 12 more upgrades. Here we go, we got our super on the slime. Damage. Pick up. There we go. Static field is just damage now. Okay, next out. Um, I don't really need more gold or levels at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead and do things to help my survivability. 
Shield recharge on boost, that's a nice one. Max shields, max hole. Hole there. Ability duration, that's nice. Anything special. Your hole. Boost recharged. Yeah, just kind of watch out here for those uh, projectiles. Should have built myself a little barrier earlier on, but I'm just going slow so I don't get hurt here. So, get to an area and kind of stay safe here. Alright, where's the boss at? Positive about this uh, boss being right here is we get the extra XP. Look how fast they went down. Yeah. If I lose this one, I'm still gonna post it, but uh, it's all on me for just uh, rushing around and getting myself killed. All right, what planet? Okay, we're planet up here. We'll take care of them. Yeah, this is insane. Just uh, pretty much blowing up. Uh, the rockets are awesome. We just actually got one of these, but I mean, I hardly ever use this, so why not? I'm trying to make our way back up to the gold planet. Like I said, it's not important at this point, but it's just kind of a habit to kill everything at this planet so that you get as much XP as possible. Okay, I can't remember if we have one or two bosses left. Um, we'll we'll kind of hang out here and see. Grades. I'm not really going to talk about them. There's not much to think about. They're all pretty. This level there. probably notice I don't really use the planets I mean I might have a point in them or whatever but uh, I just I mean it might be a strategy that's really viable I just have never really used them much um, just the hard thing is having the timing to make sure you're getting down there if you can be time uh, time it where your bosses are always uh, in that area then the yeah, could be very helpful um, but you know, that doesn't always work if you're just kind of playing for fun Yeah, look at that. Look how fastly, uh, how fast we just uh, kind of melt through these guys here. I don't know if you can do it, but I always wondered if you could like kill all of them. I mean, I kind of doubt it. There's just too many of them. Oh wow! Talk about not paying attention. How many time cubes I have? I know when I watch videos uh, of other YouTubers, I don't sit there and say, "Go shop." You should see this, but we're not paying attention. So, um, we're just gonna put it into plasma. Like I said, I think rockets are that good that it's still gonna out damage plasma. I'm just gonna give plasma all the extra. I don't really have an option of rocket damage. And we're down to two, so. Yeah, at this point, it's pretty much just waiting for the boss. Yeah, you see, when I kind of zoomed around there, I got myself hit. So, try to be smart about it. If you do it too much, you'll go killed. I have done it at the end. But, uh, if you don't do that and get yourself hit constantly. Now, I will say the strategy can be a little bit different if you're playing with a uh, ram. Just the boxing gloves can help there. Uh, so, you, know, you might want to try and actually go after them. You still gotta even be safe there because you can still get hit if you're playing this in. Alright, there's our projectiles. Slowly go around and make our barrier again.
We should have this in the bag here. Yeah, remember, this might be our final boss here. Let's go ahead and throw everything in here. Just, why not? It says damage. I'm clicking on it. I'm not even paying attention. To go so all right it's a little bit different um they changed this screen uh but it kind of highlights this area more that used to be on the bottom left but if we take a look here seeking rockets for 13.7 million now to be fair i started with them i'll have more chance to do damage but the plasma cannon i mean still does very well but just couldn't keep up with them even though i kept trying to upgrade it the most slime trail uh if your main is slime trail you'll get a lot of damage out of it um, but not too bad considering it's just sits there, right? Um, the slow is a big thing. It's, it does decent damage and it is very protective. Static field, like I said, doesn't really do much, but, uh, but the slow and the protection is why you really might go for that one. And these, of course, I didn't use the planets enough, but um, that might be interesting. Maybe try a build where your focus is on these planets, just trying to utilize them constantly. Won't get as many levels because you can't really stick around the, uh, the gold, uh, planet but you know that that's fine so um uh let's see so it looks like we got up to level 132 there and uh yeah so pretty good run so um anyway uh if you like this one uh make sure you like and subscribe check out the channel i will be posting another one i will uh you can see that we've got a new test ai unlocked so our next game will be trying him out but anyway thanks for watching everyone